Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in the mountain state of West Virginia for the don'ts of visiting West Virginia and this state is gorgeous and there's a lot of things you want to do when you're here and there's some things you don't want to do when you're here as well so we want to help you out and I think the first don't I have for you is don't confuse West Virginia with Western Virginia. Look, Virginia, West Virginia, two different states, okay? 1863, West Virginia said, bye-bye, we want to stay with the Union, and they separated away. And when you're here, you definitely get a different vibe in West Virginia than you do in Virginia or the western part of Virginia, though they do have similar topography with the hills, the mountains, and the beauty. It definitely is different, so don't think that Western Virginia and West Virginia are the same place because you will get a definite different vibe from the people, the food, the atmosphere when you are here. So have a heads up for that. Now, I think another don't you should know when you come here is don't say Appalachian wrong, okay? The mountains here, the Appalachian, right? The Appalachian Range, this is the heart and soul of West Virginia. This is what this state is. I mean, it's called, you know, the mountain state for a reason. And the people here love their mountains. It's a part of them. Remember the mountaineers? That's what they like to call themselves. So realize they really identify themselves with the mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. So don't say it wrong, all right? Now, my next don't for you is don't think you can get away from these mountains. I know I keep talking about them, but you have to realize when you come here from the scenic drives to whitewater rafting to mountain biking to hiking to going to the state parks that are here and taking, I mean, going to Blackwater Falls State Park. I mean, it's gorgeous. You, you see the waterfalls there, you're like, wait a minute, am I like an avatar or something like that? Like, this is just incredible. But the thing is, mountains are gonna be a part of your adventure when you're here and you want to take it in because if you do the Highland Scenic Highway and take that drive or when you're driving anywhere throughout the state you have this beautiful view of the mountains and the gorges and the valleys and it's just just amazing and if you can be here in the fall when the foliage is changing oh my god it is gorgeous here in West Virginia now I will say I do have a don't when it comes to safety when you are here in West Virginia you're gonna be driving through these mountains and the curves and the ups and downs and I'm gonna tell you don't forget how to drive in the mountains because it's a lot different. If you're coming from the south, you've been going through you know, North Carolina and South Carolina coming up this way. You're going from Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. I mean, that's kind of flat. And then you get here and weaving and turning and curving and, and tunnels and all kinds of stuff. One, if you have a, a kind of a weak tummy or you got kids with you, car sickness, you know, does happen when you are here so do have a heads up for that but but honestly it's the safety of the driving because with the hills and the curves if you see that you're on the highway and it says you know slow down your speed for a curve you really need to do that don't take the the, the warnings about curves and turns lightly because it can be dangerous so you need to slow it down also don't forget about those trucks that are on the highway too because Trucks don't like big hills, especially their brakes don't like the big ups and downs. So you do need to be careful because some parts of the highway, those trucks can't move over. They have to stay in the right lane. So you want to be safe when you're driving here. So do be careful, all right? And one thing I've seen is, you know, your, your car doesn't like when you have to accelerate up a hill. So if you're coming down a hill, you're not going to go up the other side. You know, hit the gas to get up and start going up the other way so you don't kind of overdo your engine. Because I've seen a number of cars that have pulled off to the side, especially those people like towing U-Hauls and the tow behind stuff. So do have a heads up for that because that can be a bit scary on those hills and the trucks and stuff. So don't forget your mountain driving. Now, when you are driving around, you're going to see actually some of the coolest bridges around, especially on the highway. And I'm gonna say, don't skip out on the bridges here in West Virginia. Because, you know, usually when you're driving on the highway and you're driving around, it's just those cement bridges and that's it. Here, they have these beautiful iron work, or you know, at least different iron work bridges that you can go over and you can see and just pass underneath them. Like, hey, it's actually cool to see a different kind of overpass. But you have the New River Gorge Bridge, which is just gorgeous. You'll see it in the postcards when you're here. But for me, I don't know why, I just dig the bridges here in West Virginia. And, and there's a lot, because when you have a lot of this, sometimes it's easier just to make a, a bridge going across. There's also little tunnels you'll go through as well. So just have a heads up. With all these mountains and all this outdoor activities you're gonna be doing when you are here, my next don't for you is don't forget to bring a good sturdy pair of shoes or hiking boots when you do come here because of all the trails and all the waterfalls and the water going through here. You've got slick terrain, you've got loose gravel and stuff like this. And if you're gonna be hiking the mountains, you don't wanna get hurt. 
and bad shoes will help you get hurt faster. So don't forget some good shoes. Also, don't forget to bring layers if you're gonna go hiking or mountain biking because in the morning when you start out, it might be chilly, then during the day, especially in the summer, it can really heat up and then cool off a lot at night because you're up here in the mountains. So, so just make sure you're prepared when you do go out on your adventures. And, and I think another important thing to mention if you're gonna be doing those hikes or those biking um, and you're driving around actually is don't think you're always gonna have cell service when you're here in West Virginia. Now, it's not because they don't have towers, it's because mountains and valleys and mountains and valleys and gorges and all these things, the signal don't always get through so sometimes you won't be able to go live to show all the gorgeous beauty there is here in West Virginia so take your video you can upload it later when you get on top of the hill you'll be fine but just something to give you a heads up for so if you're gonna do your hikes or you're gonna be doing things maybe download the map beforehand so you have it it's not a super big issue but it is one thing especially if you're going in the backwoods and the back roads and, and back hikes it might be just a safety precaution for you so I wanted to let you know I would be remiss if I didn't talk about a couple of the foods you should have when you're here and I had to put a donut in for that is don't forget two of West Virginia's best delicacies, pepperoni rolls and a hot dog, okay? So pepperoni rolls, I mean, how would I explain this? It's, it's like soft white bread and inside it's stuffed with pepperoni and cheese. And I, I look at it this way. Imagine your grandma, when she loved you the most, she made you a hot pocket, like the most wonderful hot pocket ever that is so much better than a hot pocket but that's the closest thing I can tell you what it's kind of like, and it's just wonderful. And the thing is, you can grab a little place, I have a little plastic bag kind of stuff, you can eat them hot, cold, it doesn't matter. You'll enjoy it, so you want to grab that when you're here, so don't skip out on a pepperoni roll. And then the hot dogs here, okay? Hot dogs here, you got chili on it, I mean, no beans in the chili, so it's like a chili sauce, I guess you'd say. Hot dog, chili sauce, and then put some coleslaw on top. Yeah, you can do it with, with coleslaw or without. They love their hot dogs that way. And, and I think with the coleslaw thing, I need to put this one in here. I, I saw this when we were going around. Um, don't think coleslaw is just a side dish. Here in West Virginia, coleslaw is a side dish, but more importantly, it's a condiment you're gonna put on things. So so do know that, all right? And I think uh, another town, there's, there's a lot of cute small towns around here. You can see at one time, West Virginia didn't have money uh, with the coal industry and, and the mining and stuff like that. And, it's not all it's not there so much anymore and and i think one thing i will have to tell you is don't think you're going to break the bank when you come here to west virginia this is a very affordable state to visit i mean we've been staying to some hotels here and those the national chain hotels our usual stop on the highway price here it's between i don't know 20 to 40 dollars less for those hotels so it actually is an affordable place to go going out to eat very affordable as well and there's a lot of mom and pop restaurants so don't skip out on the mom and pop places when you come here to eat and, and enjoy the uh, enjoy the state because there's a lot of really nice like local place to visit so so there is that but what I want to get back to is don't forget about those cute little towns but probably the one that you've heard of probably if there's one place in West Virginia you've probably heard of it's Harper's Ferry there's a national site there that has the explanation so you can do that but Harper's Ferry is gorgeous I mean it's this old historic town it's like you're in a Hallmark movie because you know you got the Shenandoah River you got the Potomac River they're coming together there and, and and then you have the bridges going over and then the old town and you have the church and everything you're like dude seriously I'm straight living in a Hallmark movie when I'm there it's gorgeous there's some other yeah, cute towns when you're here but I know a lot of people they're on that side of the state maybe you're in DC and you're gonna drive over a ways I mean, it's a bit of a drive but worth coming over to see Harper's Ferry so so that's really nice now another don't I think I should tell you before you come here is don't diss the coal industry when you are here. Look, the coal industry has been a vital part of West Virginia history and the economy for a very long time. And even though not a lot of people are still working in the coal industry here in West Virginia, it is something that maybe their dad worked in the industry or their grandparents or something like that. So there is a lot of influence in there. It's kind of like if you're in Illinois, yeah, not everybody's a farmer anymore, but farming was a big part of it. So it is still something that people kind of relate to and have kind of an impression of so that's one of those things you know if you're gonna be talking about the coal industry just have a heads up that the people here you know it, it is part of their culture it's part of their state and, and I think another thing where where I think when people think when I say oh I'm going to West Virginia they think West Virginia da, 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 and they start singing the songs and they start thinking oh yeah there, it's hillbillies and rednecks there Look, don't call them hillbillies and rednecks, they're not. The people here are awesome. The mountaineers, they're mountaineers here. 
And when you're here, the people are so friendly because they're so happy. Like, oh my God, you've come to West Virginia? Oh, you got to do this hike over here. Oh, my cousin, he does some whitewater rafting. If you want to go check that out, we can, we can sign you up. The people that are so friendly and so welcoming and warming to people coming in as tourists that you will really enjoy it. And just remember, they're mountaineers, my friends, and they're friendly mountaineers and they're wonderful people. So I do hope you come to West Virginia because honestly, it is one of the most beautiful states in the Union. Even if you're just driving through, if you got to choose, well, do I go through Ohio or do I go this way? Go through West Virginia, okay? The drive is gorgeous. Just know that it's a lot of this but it's worth every view, all right? So I hope you have a great time visiting West Virginia. If you wanna learn more, we got videos from all over the US on don'ts and shocks and fun things about enjoying this beautiful country. And I'll say bye from here in West Virginia.